Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dutch Door and Miles at Tactile Hive, and we are finishing up at the range today with a little challenge. We'll call. We'll a little competition. And you see all of these uh, pistols here and these buckets over there in the back. We're gonna explain what we're gonna be doing in just a minute. Welcome back. Before we start talking about what this challenge or competition is going to be, we wanna make sure that you guys are aware of CCW Safe. If you guys do not have legal protection, make sure to check them out. If you do get into a shooting, Regardless if you win or lose, you are going to be in a second fight. So you do want to make sure you're protected. Make sure to check them out in the description below. All right, so what we have today is a course of fire, which we'll explain in a little bit. It'll be a 10 round course of fire. We have five pistols and three shooters. Dor, Dutch, and I come from different backgrounds. And uh, this is kind of just a random way that we could potentially even up the playing field. And uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to talk about the guns we're gonna be using. Charles is gonna take them and then put them under those buckets and we are going to randomly choose. So we don't, we don't know which gun we are going to shoot for this competition. So let's uh, go over the guns. All right, so up first, we've got the uh, Glock 34 Gen 5, I believe, yep. And this is uh, kind of the shooter's Glock. Longer slide, longer barrel, paired with the uh, SRO and a Gucci trigger. You know, this is uh, one of the good ones. When's the last time you shot that, Dutch? A Glock 34. Was the last time I shot it? Yeah, Glock 34. Has it been recently? No, no not recently. Was, 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 right. was it recently? Yeah. So I hope, I hope Dutch gets the Glock 34 then. I'm like, hey, look, that's a nice choice though. <laughs> it's a nice gun. Yep. Up uh, next, we got the Colt Gold Cup. Oh, guys, we are not looking backwards, so we don't know where those uh, guns are going in the bucket. So Colt 1911 Gold Cup. This is a target gun. Kind of uh, was, you know, a go-to for competition 40-something years ago. And whoever gets that gun or any, I know that there's another 1911, is going to be at a disadvantage because of uh, the lower mag capacity. What do we got next there? X Macro from Sig Sauer, P365. This thing's comped. It's got the hollow sun with a 17 round capacity. Yeah, it's nice. nice. All right. This is the beefier, chunkier sister to that gun, a little bit older. And uh, same 17 round capacity. This is the X Carry 320 from Sig Sauer. Got the red dot as well. And then last but not least, we've got the uh, Springfield Operator. Uh, this is a kind of a modern rendition it's on nice a 1911. It's a nice gun to get. Yeah. And uh, I, I hope I, I hope it's a nice gun, but I hope I do not get any of the 1911s. High capacity is what you well, want. High cap and yeah. red dot. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> we'll see. All right, you crazies. The course of fire is as such. You will start from that bucket back there on the buzzer. You're going to run here to this particular place that we call the bench. And then you're gonna pick one of these buckets to choose your, your weapon. To make sure the judges, the judges, what if you pick the wrong weapon? Can you pick another bucket? You oh, can't, no, right? No, no. You're stuck. You're stuck. You got a, one bucket. Right. One bucket, okay, you get to choose once and once only. Throw that away, put the weapon in action. Two shots to each of these small C-zone uh, steels right in front of us. One, two, three, four. Right upon those, compl upon completion of that, you got to run or walk if you want to, but you want to get the best time. So we'll move the best possible speed to this shooting position right here. And from here, there are six D zone type steel targets that are on that particular hill. And there's one over here by itself on this T bar stand. So I'll go from left to right for now. I want two shots each of these. And when you get here, it's one shot each. One, two, high on the mound of the uh, the dome rock there, at four and five. So if you're doing a round count, that's 10, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's 10. So that benefits the guy with the 45 caliber pistol who's got 10 rounds or benefits. He's, he's gotta be, he's, he's gotta be, he's, he's just gotta be more <laughs> accurate. That's all. That's it. Before we start guys, we're just gonna jam up the mags and then we're gonna give the mags to Charles. He's gonna put them in the appropriate bucket with the pistol. But uh, guys, we need to come up with something who, you know, like a, a penalty or whatever, a mm -hmm. punishment for person who is last, last. So that, mm -hmm. just to, and just to reiterate, or just to reiterate, we need to hit all steel. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to hit all steel and fastest time obviously is the winner, okay? What do we think is, should be the punishment? The mere, the mere shame of losing should yes. be plenty, but, but probably should involve some can, sort of after work alcoholic beverage. Mm. Okay, yes. okay I, I, I'm down with that. All right, so then uh, the winners get to choose the shot that the loser has to take. 
All right, to see who goes first, second, last, we're gonna throw a piece of nine mil brass at this uh, yellow firing line. And whoever is the closest goes last. Right. Whoever's farthest will go first. Go ahead, Dark. Easy go enough, first. all right. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Oh! All right, so I think Dora's the closest, the closest then uh, Dutch is the furthest. So uh, I'm going, yeah, Dutch is going first. I'm going second and Dora is last. Dutch, you know, you're going to pick a gun and go with yeah, the course I'm fire. Trying, I hope you- to figure out what bucket I want to violently throw off the table. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude? I got to fire a bucket off the table to see what's behind. All right, here we go. Stand by. <laughs> Almost missed that one. Hit. 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 Hard. Oh. <laughs> I think it hit the pole. I think it did hit the pole. First it hit the, the pole. pole. Yeah, the first one hit the pole. So uh, it was two after that. Yeah. So you got all right. So if you took you took like three shots after. So I'd say the 12th shot, 2049. All right, man, I hope I don't get the 45. You know which one you're going for? Come on. It's only a 40, it's only a 50% chance. You're doing better than me. I do not want that 45. So here oh, we go, stand by. Get some. No! Yeah. There you go. He takes it. Damn! <laughs> Damn it! I can't believe you missed that, though. I know. <laughs> it's the iron sights. I'm not used to the iron sights. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, uh, a thirty percent chance to get really crappy shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, that was my daddy's gun. Uh, he bought it over forty years ago. I hope. I hope you get the forty-five. All right. Here we go. Get yep. ready. Step by. Get some. Glock. Nice. Go, go, go! go. Hit, miss! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Oh! Ah! <laughs> 20, 22 14, 22 14. <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> Well, Dutch won, oh. doors in second, and I guess these guys uh, get to choose which shot I'm taking after this. We made it, all right? It was, that was really fun. I, you know, so I, in the end, uh, I came up on top, I was lucky. Uh, you got stuck with the, uh, the, the old technology pistol and uh, lack of magazine capacity, but you, you, you swam through it. Powered through. And, uh, and door, door into the 34. So, hey, which is a lot of fun, obviously. You can do stuff like this, obviously, in your own backyard. So when it comes to drills and stuff, really, it's in your mind that uh, any kind of competitions and drills, it's in your mind that allows you to do whatever you want. Because there's all you can do all kinds of cool things. I mean, as long as you're safe, right, you can do all kinds of stuff. So what you hear is what you don't know either, right? So I've been here for almost a week. Had some great video content all week. I appreciate the opportunity. Appreciate everything you guys do. Yes, thanks for coming. It's been a lot of fun. And so with that, go out and do great things. Train hard, sign up for a class for one of these cats, whether it's in Illinois area or Arizona area or California area, wherever it might be. And in addition to all that, get down below and see the war room and the description below. Be part of the be part of the exclusive tribe here, okay? So that's, the, that's what we all want anyway, is to be part of an exclusive tribe where we can do things, like-minded people will do things, come together, exchange ideas, and uh, get better. And so like it, subscribe to it, hit that bell to get fed by Tactical Hive. And until next time, Dutch door and the boss, Miles Vivas, out.